tracking algorithms. All right, I want to bring us to the prime paradox, I like to think, of user interface design. And that's control versus simplicity. Or you might think about it as complexity versus uh, flexibility. They're all different ways of saying the same thing. If I want to have a user interface that pretty much anybody who comes to it knows what to do, I'm going to make it very, very simple. I'm going to have a, the minimum number of different controls all competing for your attention. That's simplicity. But if you think about it, well, I have a screen that only has one control. Well, I guess then you can only do one thing. Right? Well, what if you have a complicated thing? Like Facebook's got lots and lots going on. How do I thread that needle? How do I stay on that knife edge between making it easy for people who don't already know how to use it, making it easy for them, but making it up to the task of people who are power users, people who want to do fancy things with it? How do I have those things going on all at the same time? How do I please the newbies and at the same time make the oldbies feel like there's always new cool things that they can do on my application? So that's a big contradiction and you'll hear Greg talk about that as well. How can you, uh, how can you make it so that it's simple enough that anybody can use it, but powerful enough that people who have very sophisticated uses for it can use it as well? But this trade-off between control and simplicity is actually a really interesting and really fundamental one to all user interface design. And um, the, the amount of control that you give users often corresponds to increased complexity. Mm -hmm. And we really strive towards having a site that anybody can use without any training whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, and trying to make that scale up to becoming a really sophisticated user with thousands of friends and, and so forth mm. um, is an interesting design uh, and user yeah, interface channel. Very interesting. So what's your, what's your insight into that? The difference between having it be really simple but you can't do much versus yeah. really complicated but it's, it takes a lot of learning to figure out how to do it. Yeah. How do you approach that? Yeah, well, again, we, we typically, we, because we're dog fooding everything mm -hmm. and we tend to be on the high end of stuff, we tend to, more and more of the suggestions coming from employees and from engineers at the company tend to focus on more of those power users. So we constantly have to push back towards simplicity mm -hmm. because it, it, most people design things as if they're going to use them their, their self, themselves. And I think um, it's been important to have sort of the sensibilities around um, what a, an average user can do and being sure that anything, anytime that we introduce a new control, we are considering how that impacts confusion and how that impacts um, the, the average user's use of the site. And again, we're always watching to see, wow, does that change make users come back to the site less often? Does that change make users click on things in the news feed less often? Or does it help? the experience? Does it make right. them come back more often? Does it make right. people click on things more right. often? Right. Right. Um, you know, so it's very experimental. Yeah, absolutely. It's very experimental. At the same time, I think we've been blessed with an amazing product team, an amazing design team, amazing mm -hmm. engineering team, and, and we have good intuitions about the way these things work after years and years of, of iterating on these experiments. So Mark Zuckerberg in particular is very, very involved with the product decisions on how these things work and has a, a fantastic intuition for these things in a way that has been informed by years and years of doing these experiments and seeing what the results look like. Yeah, 